Hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is John from programming knowledge and in this video guys we're gonna talk about variables and of course we will have a deeper um, discussion on how to declare initialize and assign values to our variables so basically guys like most programming languages C uses and processes variables and in C Variables are just like human readable names for the computer's memory addresses used by a running program. So basically guys, the advantage of using variable is it is making our life easier to store, read, and change the data within the computer's memory by allowing the or by allowing us to associate easy to remember labels for that particular memory addresses so at first uh, it is easier to imagine that variables uh, are just fl uh, placeholders for values much like in mathematics so you can think of a variable as a uh, as being equivalent to its assigned value so, so for example if you have a variable that is i and then initialize or set equal to so for example 4 so, by that, you can say that i plus 1 will be equal to 5. So, there you go. So, uh, now let's talk about how to declare a certain variable in our C program. So, basically, all we have to do, guys, so for example, if we try to declare an int, or so for example int and then some number okay and then you have to end it with a semicolon that uh, signifies that it is the end of this particular line so this statement uh, tells the compiler to create a variable called some number and associate it with a memory location on the computer so we are, we're also telling the compiler that the type of data that will be stored at that address and in this case it is the int. We have to remember also that in C we must specify the type of data that the variable will store because it will tell the computer like how much the total memory to set aside for that particular um, variable or set of data something like that. Now you can also uh, declare multi-variables in one statement just say for example int n1 and then you have like n2 and then n3 and then end it with a semicolon to signify that it is the end of this particular line so that's basically how to declare a variable so you can do it like this and if you have like multiple variables to declare you can just do it like this for as long as it is the same type okay so in n1 and then n2 and n3 so we're just telling the compiler to declare this particular variable and all of this variable um the type is int okay and of course you can uh, assign a value to that particular variable later on using a statement like so for example sum some number equals to three okay so basically this is the declaration of our variable some number but this this is the assigning of value so we're just basically assigning value three to our variable sum underscore number so the assignment of a value to a variable is called initialization so we're just basically initializing the value of this variable sum number equal to 3 or something like that and of course you can just maybe you you can uh, declare initialize and assign value at the or in one line or something in the same time so int age equals to 4 something like that so you can declare the var uh, value or the variable and then assign value to that particular Value uh, variable so okay and of course you can 
assign variables to the value of another variable. So it means, so for example, n1, you can assign the value of age into this by just using the variable age, something like that. Or you have to modify it with like add 10. Okay, so age and then plus 10 or something like that. And if you want to display this, all you have to do is use the function printf and then you can uh, say the age is percent %d and as you can remember, this is the placeholder for int. So percent %d and then you have to specify the variable. So for example, n1 so let's try this add semicolon to this so compile and run so the age is 14 so that's because the n1 now holds the value of age plus the value 10 so it makes it 14 okay and of course you can assign multiple variables to the same value with one assignment. So, so for example, n1, n2, and n3, you can assign it like this. So, I'm just showing you guys how to assign values to this particular variable. So, so for example, n1 equals n2 equals n3, and this should equal to um, 8, okay? So let's try this and, and as you can see, the value is 8, okay? But if you try to display also N2 and N3, it will get also the value 8. So you can uh, assign multiple variables to the same value with uh, one statement. So now I'm going to talk about naming the variables because they're uh, in naming or I mean in C, we have to remember that there are naming rules that we have to follow. So one of the rules that we have to remember is that um, the variable name must not start with a digit. So basically you can, you cannot say int and then one age you cannot do that because as a general rule you cannot start your variable name with a digit okay and of course the second one is spaces not allowed in names so you can say int and then space my age you can't do that because that's not allowed in C. And uh, dollar sign not allowed. So, or any special characters for that matter. So, uh, only letters, digits, and of course, semicolon allowed in our variable name. And of course, the last one will be the uh, reserve keywords. You can't use reserve keywords. So that's basically, so for example, you, you want to name a variable in main, something like that. You can't use this variable name because this is a res reserve keyword, meaning it is a primary keyword used by C as you can see here so now let's talk about the four major uh, uh, four basic data types in C so there are four basic data types in C that's um, int and then we have char or characters and then float and then we have the double type Okay, so int is a type that stores integers in the form of whole numbers. So any number that is whole, so you can um, say it like int age equals um, 10 or 
maybe 11, um, 20, for as long as it is a whole number. So, it should be a whole number between 2 billion 147 million 468 or 648 something so negative and that's inclusive um positive for uh, 2 billion uh, 147 million and 483,647 so that's the um length of the int if you want to use this particular uh, type int so that's the int should be between that number or those numbers so the next one is the char type so char is just a series of character or a single character so the first the, f the way of declaring a character or a char is you have to use char keyword and then, so for example, letter 1 equals A. There you go. You have to enclose it with single quote. And it signifies that it is a single character or something like that. And of course, you can have like a series of characters. So for example, like what we have previously, char and then character name. And then... You have to use the uh, square brackets for that matter. And uh, so, for example, John. Okay. So, that's basically how to declare or how to use the char keyword. Okay. And the next one is float. So, basically, float is a short for floating point. And it stores... Um, representations of real numbers both integer and non-integer values and the way on how to declare that is by using uh, the keyword float and then maybe you can um, declare it as uh, what? float pi equals 3.14 Something like that. So you can declare your float values by using uh, that keyword float and then followed by the keyword or the variable name, which is, for example, in this case, the pi, which is 3.14. Okay. And of course, we can use also the uh, data type double if you want. So, double is, so for example, um, salary equals 10,000, 10,000, something like that. And basically, if you want to use double, all you have to do is use this key, uh, keyword, double, and then the name of your variable name, so in this case, salary, and then declare or initialize it with a double value, something like that. Okay? And... If you have any doubts to the amount of memory actually used by any variable, you can use the, the size of operator to find out for sure. So you can like uh, use the keyword size of and then um, the variable age. Okay. So, so for example, for that, um, you can get the actual amount of memory allocated in that particular variable. So, I think that's it for this tutorial, guys. And in the next video, we're going to discuss the scope for variables. And, of course, we will move to basic, uh, simple or simple math and math operations with our variables in our C program. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks.